Hey everyone, it's Tommy from TechNexus and thanks for joining me in the third video of Coding Week. So the last two days we've made the form, we've put um, the elements that we want inside it, so the directory functions and the user script. So today we're actually going to get started on creating the code for some of these uh, functions to actually start working. So I'm going to split it up into two uh, video. So today we're just going to look at this directory processing function here on the left and then tomorrow we're going to do the functions, the user script and the process and cancel buttons. And then by the time we get to Friday uh, we will pretty much be done. We can do any debugging if we need to um, but we should all be good and ready by Friday. So when uh, the uh, script is loaded um, and running, first off when you need to create the, the directory listing here under this, this directory to process. So we can do that just by um, right clicking on part of, uh, I guess, the, the element and, and clicking on view code and it will take you into uh, this coding window. So you can say in, every time we click in there, something is going to happen. But for this, it's going to be a little bit different because we need this to populate when the form activates. So I'm going to make uh, a sub. Actually, it should be public, not private. So we want we want um, we want it to be seen when it's running as a macro. So public sub, and then this user form. So this is just called user form. Okay, so up here. So it's user form and an activity that it's going to do is activate. So that basically means when this form activates, we're going to run um, some commands in here. So first off, uh, to make sure this is going to be empty, we can we put in listbox one dot clear. So it's going to essentially clear that list box every time. Otherwise, the directory that directory box is going to just keep populating. So I want to put in a couple of strings. So what this is going to do is it's going to look at the directory that it's in. Now I've got it under C drive bat underscore batching, so underscore batching, and put in the trailing slash, close off the quotes, and it's a VB directory. Left the last bracket. Okay, so what it's, you can make this path here whatever you want. So if you want to call it Tom, you can call it Tom. If you want to call it Pete, call it Pete. Doesn't matter as long as that is where the DVB file uh, is going to live. Also, so so we're going to do a do command. Do while this string is anything other than so if oh, if the directory is a dot and it's also a anything other than a dot dot so for the DOS people they might know when you create a folder in Windows it makes two subfolders with the dot and a dot dot in it and then we look at another if statement there of C drive batching, so your directory where you're putting it, and and its VB directory is a directory. Then. Made a mistake there, that should be an and, not a dollar. Then in the list box, 
you want to add the item of that directory name and then we end that if and that if and then we loop that so it's basically going to run through this directory and keep looping through and adding list box items until uh, it gets to the end so what we also want to do is so over here I want to say disable that so this is now called checkbox 4 so we can say checkbox 4 dot enabled equals false so just whenever it loads it's grayed out we also want to change the back color of this so again that it's grayed out so it's list box 2 dot back color equals and the code for that is so it's the same it's just going to be the, the same as it's just going to be a gray color so it could be you could make it this one here so I, I already have a gray color that I know I want to use so h8 and it has a few zeros so we've got one two three four five and an F and you'll see when we run the script as well and I can also set the height of this form as well through the code here but we don't need to do that as well so let's debug it so I've compiled it and if I click on play so it's telling me that that's an error there as well so maybe I can just set that up to be the same color looks like I've missed a zero there so debug that play it so now you can see that there's nothing in there so if I close that go back to here and if I make a new folder and I go source drawings and now when I run it again you can see we've got source drawings in there so that's going to be the directory uh, that we're going to process so that's going to be it for today um, like I said tomorrow we'll go through the code for these functions we'll go through the user script code and then come Friday we should be pretty much right and, and uh, let that run and demonstrate that it actually does work so again thanks for watching thumbs up if you liked it thumbs down if you didn't please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get daily notifications of my videos and I'll catch you tomorrow for part four thanks a lot